Light B5, a microprocessor, Mu P, uses a 16-bit actress bus and an 8-bit data bus. The actress bus lines are labeled A15 to A0, where A15 is the most significant actress bit and A0 is the least significant address bit. The microprocessor generates an active low address trouble AS at the beginning of each memory access cycle to indicate that a valid address has been placed on the address bus. The AS signal is asserted for the entire memory access cycle. In a certain application of the MUP, the three most significant address bits A15 to A13 are used as inputs to a 3 of 8 decoder to generate chip selector signals CS0 to CS7. The chip selector signals are used to enable an apron memory devices whose address lines are tied directly to the lower 13 address lines is A12 to A0 of the new P. The apron's output lines are enabled whenever its enable input EM is ported now. A fig of the microprocessor described above and the decode choose table are shown below. The range of addresses expressed in hexadecimal to which the apron in the figure will respond is most nearly what number? That is A, B, C, D. This question is long this description, so we get confused for everyone, for all the boards. But the question, you have to check the question, is the range of addresses expressed in hexadecimal to which the apron in the figure will respond is most near what number. We know this uh, this here, you see, this is the address for the this is the address bus. Sixteen address bus. Actually they have the thirteen numbers going to the apron. So in the apron branch, at least you have to include these 13 numbers. But this one, this is only for the indicate. Because from here, they have the information input, A15 to A13, to tell this decode, uh, decode and find the, find the uh, location, the address. Just give the single. So this is not included there. The address. The address is only for this one and this one. Because this is a data bus. This is a data bus. You can input output here inside. It's not the address. address. So we only need to concede this plus this one. So we can do the calculation for the address. You see, this is 13. This is 3 total, 16. Total 16, and this should. So it should be 15 position, should be 2 to the power 15. What's this number? It's here. Clear. So in the model, it's 4, oh no, 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 sorry. Here, clear. So 2 the power here, 15, is equal, you could use, is equal to 
32, 768. So the altitude is, should be at least this, this number, this number. So from here, we can check all the numbers. This is zero. This is definitely is no. For the A, it's definitely no. It's from zero to one FF. One, let me check, let us check the one FF because this is decimal. Use the model for hexadecimal. This is one FFF equal and change to decimal. It's only 8,000. 8,191. So this is out of this range, right? How about this one? If it's 400 hex more, create this one. Hex decimal. Hex decimal is 4,000 equal to this. And then the decimal is start for 16. 16384. This is less than this number. So this is not good. This is not good. How about this one? Mm. For the hexadecimal, it's 8,000 equal. What's the decimal? Just put the decimal. You see, three, 32. This is 32. 768. This is in this range, right? How about this one? D. Use the hexadecimal E with E 0, 0, 0. This one. How about this one? Here. It's 57. 344. This is out of the range. So this is started from 8,000. It should be the correct answer. It should be correct answer. Because this attribute bus is include this one, include this one. Because this is only for the indicate, for the indicate. So only this one for the trees, at trees. So the correct answer should be C.